everybody, Lori here from Unique in the Creek. Hello, hello. Oh, look at my cute jammies. <laughs> hello, everybody. Say hello when you come in. Hello, hello. I need a haircut. That's what I need. So tonight, or right now, I'm we are making a, we're going to be making a football wreath. I have, hello, my son is going to a, an engagement party tomorrow and the, his friend that he's going to the engagement party for is a massive, huge Detroit Lions football fan. Hi everybody. Hello, you like my jammies? Look at this. I'm wearing them because they glow in the dark. So I want to freak Dave out later. But you have to wear them so the light picks up the glow in the dark stuff. So I'm wearing them now. Plus they're very comfy. And so I want to freak Dave out when it when it's all dark. <laughs> It'll be cool. Maybe I'll even video it. Hey everybody, right? He doesn't know they glow in the dark. He's like, what the hell are you wearing? They are so comfy. I got them at Walmart in the States. I love them. They were like $14. <laughs> Hi everybody. Okay, so I'm going to be doing this wreath on a character board and I'm using this vinyl. Now this vinyl is not available on our website. We do have football vinyls. Unfortunately, this one is copyrighted. However, this is a gift. So I purchased I purchased the logo and I made it into a vinyl. Um, so, you know, you guys, I don't know if you guys realize that you can Mod Podge. So if you get something printed at like Staples or FedEx or something, you could on a card stock. So you can make your own hint, hint. You, you can make your own uh, centers like this. Just send them to Staples or FedEx, print them on cardstock, and you can actually mod podge them right on to the character board. Now, I, because I designed my own, I get to use a vinyl. I cannot sell you guys this vinyl. But I am using this blue. It's the closest blue. It is pretty much a Honolulu blue. So I think I matched it really well. So for the Detroit Lions, I am using this blue. I did put, I'll put it on here as well. Uh, I did put all the um, stuff I am using in a link. So I am using poly burlap. We're using half a roll of this blue. And I can give you guys the numbers as well. We do have all these in stock. We have, now I was given instructions. This is a football wreath and they didn't want, he doesn't want it frou-frou. So no sparkly, no ribbons, just a football wreath um, with not, no glitter or anything. So I'm using poly burlap. And we pretty much have all the colors in poly burlap. So if you are thinking about doing a football wreath, check out the poly burlap section of uniqueofthecreek.com because we pretty much have all the colors that match the football teams. Now, I was going to go and match them for everybody. And I was told that's probably not a good idea because if I match um, a mesh to a football team, and it's the wrong color and you got, and it's, you know, sent to like a diehard football fan, I would get in big trouble from you guys, the customers, because I picked the wrong color. <laughs> That's the only reason I haven't, I haven't paired the poly burlaps with all the football teams. I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want you guys to be mad at me. <laughs> Hello, hello. So I am using this blue. There's like three or four different shades of blue. This one is actually just called blue. 
It's RP810003. Okay, it's lighter blue. I'm also using white and I'm also using gray. All right, so let's start this and we'll go down to the board. Hello, hello, we are streaming on Unique in the Creek Facebook page, we're streaming on YouTube, and we are streaming on Creations by Karen. Hi everybody, hi Karen's fans, and she's doing well. I haven't talked to her son today, but I will find out. Um, her friend did post today, you guys probably all seen that. All right, so let's get going. If this is a very simple wreath, seriously. So there's the top of our board. I am going to spritz a little bit of water. I didn't realize we still have some of these in stock. These little pink water bottles. I love this one. Probably because it's pink and it's pretty. But um, we, if you need a water bottle, we do have them on the website. And I'm also using a squeegee. You need to be quick squeegee. And a paper towel. So I'm going to peel the vinyl right off the paper. This is a high industrial vinyl. It is water-based. So we're putting a little bit of water on the, the um, character board so that if I don't put the center on straight, I can lift it up and move it again. And we're gonna put it right on the inside of the solid part of this board. And this is going to make your frame and your sign all one piece. How'd I do? Looks pretty good. So what I'm doing is just looking, this is the center of the board where it says number one and two. That's the center and that's the center. I'm just eyeballing it. Um, I don't measure or anything. So it looks straight to me. Now, if it wasn't straight, because we put some water underneath, you can lift it up pretty easy. Hi, Nat. And put it back down again, still straight. You wanna make sure that though, that there's no um, hair or there's no glitter or anything on your board when you before you put your your vinyl on and then you're going to take a paper towel over top of your squeegee and this is going to collect any excess water and you start from the center and push your way out on like a 45 degree angle and you'll see a little bit of water squirting out and everything else and i love the sound when the bubbles pop all right so there we go, all done. Now I'm gonna go over once more with just the squeegee. Yeah. Oh, heard a bubble. With just the squeegee, it does give any teeny tiny bubbles that you don't even see, you'll hear them pop. And there we go. And this takes about 24 hours to cure onto the board. And once it's cured, it's on there pretty good. I had a lady show me um, a vinyl she had on and she put it in the direct sunlight out in um, right in nature for two years and the vinyl still looked brand new and it was still on the board. So she's going to clip all the stuff off, pull off that vinyl and she can you reuse the board again. So there we go. There is our wreath frame, wreath frame and sign all in one piece. Hi Sharon, how are you? How is, how's the weather? Okay, so I am not doing a foo-foo-y wreath. That's what I was told. So this is going to be a very simple wreath using just the three colors of the team. Now, like I said, uh, I'm only using not even half the roll. So if you have, if you're doing a football wreath, you can make two football wreaths 
with three rolls of mesh. So I've already cut all my mesh I need. You can see how much is left over. It's more than half of a roll left over. It's just starting to rain there. Oh, you guys, please be safe. So I'm gonna make, I have another one to make because Dave's son, who lives in Windsor, is a Detroit Lions fan as well. So I have to make another one. I might do the other one with a, uh, like a, a um, Star Trek pedal or something like that. These, we do not, we do have football vinyls. They're not like this though, okay? Because this is copyrighted. Um, I did purchase this. Um, and it's a gift for my son's friend, so I, I can't sell these vinyls. I can't sell them. We do have, you know, football, like if you go and type in football on the website, you'll see some of the vinyls that come up that don't cross any copyright lines that you can use. Um, you wouldn't be able to sell this, like on Etsy or anything, okay? Yeah, our, the person that this is gifting to um, lives in uh, Windsor. Um, yeah, so I you couldn't sell this wreath on Etsy or anything because this is copyrighted. But like I said, this is a gift. Okay, so I am doing three rows of kerfuffles. Okay, I'm going to do, and they're, I'm just using three colors from the team. I'm doing blue. On row one I'm doing white on row one and a half and then I'm doing gray on ro ro uh, row two okay so I'm doing blue then white then gray and I'm doing a kerfuffle and a kerfuffle is I did heat seal these this mesh I did wood burn it okay we are going to take our board and I'm using row one, which is the first hole, and there's a number one there, to the outside of the board. So I'm gonna be going around the outside. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna take my piece of mesh. This is 10 by 10. Okay, 10 by 10. We're just doing a kerfuffle. So I'm gonna, this, the factory edges are on the bottom, um, the right and left. This is curl up. Now I have it, I had it flattened overnight, so um, it's pretty flat, but you can still see there's a bit of a curl. So it's curl up, okay? So I'm gonna take this the bottom, bring it up around what I think is the middle, just like this, okay? Then I'm gonna take the top and just bring it down just over top, a little bit over top of the bottom edge making sure that these factory edges are lined up and straight. So we have kind of like a envelope type formation. All right. And then from the bottom, right in the middle, I'm gonna pinch. So with my pointer finger and my thumb, pinch and drag, pinch and drag, pinch and drag. So three pinches you are going to do and it's going to give you this kind of bow tie formation okay I'm going to use this with the seam the seam downwards so it's if it frays you're not going to see it and then I'm going to put the middle where I have my finger here right on the board in between the tail and the head of the zip tie this is going to be the whole wreath. So I did 16 blue, 16 white, and 16 pieces of gray. So we're going to do row one. We'll do that again. Bottom up, top down, just over top. You want to make sure that your factory edges are lined up. Because when we do this ruffle, this is what you're going to see, is these edges. Pinch, pinch, pinch. So three of them, just like that. 
fold down, I flip it, and where I have the middle, we're just gonna put it right on top of the board. Come around with the zip tie before it's tight. I make sure that both sides are the same length and pull it tight. Okay, and we're gonna go around, and that's what we're doing for each hole, there's 16. Now I probably could have got away with not as many, but because it's a gift, I wanted to make sure it was like nice and full. And I pre-made a bunch of the ruffles so you guys didn't have to sit and watch me. You're a diehard? Why would you be a diehard Detroit fan? <laughs> yeah, I was throwing shade. <laughs> I'm a Bills fan. Everybody knows that. Hello, hello, everybody. We are just making a quick football wreath. This is poly burlap. I did uh, wood burn it. And I have, look at my, <laughs> my basket of ruffles. So I fold them all up. And just put a clip on. Now, if I wasn't doing this live, I would be just sitting up on my couch watching TV and putting all these ruffles in. But I decided to, to um, hang out with you guys. Guys, I really wish I could get... Um, Copyright. It is very, very expensive to get licensing. But like I said, you can make your own and print, get them printed on like a cardstock and um, Mod Podge them onto your board. Oh yeah, you can use horizontal wide straight mesh too. The only thing is, I don't have all the colors in stock. There's like, they're literally sold out of um, horizontal wide stripe at the wholesalers. And they do have some coming in, not till the beginning of October though. So I do have all the colors though in poly burlap. It is a great match, isn't it? So we have, there's like three or four different blues that we have on the website. So I'm just making these ruffles and zip tying them in. It's going to be, like I said, a very kind of basic wreath. Is the orange poly burlap sold out? Oh, I did not know that. I will have to check. I know we just got four skids in yesterday. And I'll be working on the spreadsheets this weekend. So I will see if there's any orange in that shipment. Yeah, I can't outright sell these vinyls, my friends. I really wish I could. Maybe maybe one day I'll look into the licensing. You are loving this? Yeah, I think I got the blue pretty spot on. So I'm just doing blue, white, and gray. So 16, 16, one, six pieces of the blue, 16, 10 by 10 pieces of the white, and 16, 10 by 10 pieces of the gray. And like I said, if you get three colors, you can do two wreaths like this. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining me on Friday. I know it's like dinner time for most people. I literally just got home from the U.S. of A shopping with my daughter. We went to Hobby Lobby. We went to Walmart. We went to Wegmans. Yes, the ones that we have on the website are okay to sell.
not dinner time yet. Oh, Chris, you're way in California. You're probably just having lunch. I tried to get copyright for our football team. It was $1,500 and you can only use it 50 times. Whoa. So you imagine if I had to get all the football teams. Yeah. Now you could get your customer to buy a sign and give you the sign to put into their wreath. You can do it like that. But you cannot purchase the sign and put it in and sell it. Yes, Debbie, it's licensed, yes. However, I am not selling this. This is a gift. All right, so there is the blue. 16 pieces on there. I'm gonna use my zip tie gun. I haven't used this in a long time. So the next color I'm going to do, I'm going to do white for the center and then gray. So the, just three rows of mesh. No ribbons, no nothing. Next color is white. So we're gonna go from the hole that has that zip tie already in to the middle hole and keep them open. I am doing this for a gift for my son who is going to an engagement party and his friend is a big Detroit Lions fan, so my son asked if I would make this. So, like I said, there is football ones on there. You can do exactly what I'm doing with the other football signs that are, or vinyls that are on there. Just use the team colors. Those ones that I am selling do not infringe on any copyrights. So I'm going down, you pull one to one and a half, and these are going to be white. And he's coming to pick it up in half an hour. I gotta get busy. <laughs> I gotta move. So we're doing 16 white, exactly like we just did the blue. And once I get all the mesh on, we're gonna move these up and kind of fluff them out. So you see that ridge, it's gonna look really nice because they're licensed. I do not have the license for this, so I cannot sell it to you. Okay, white, doing the exact same thing. Bring the bottom up, factory edges on the top, uh, left and right, bring the bottom, and I'm just over the, the top just over the bottom and you want to make sure that your edges and then one two three if you buy the sign and use your sign I'm not going through all this but if you buy the sign and put it in your own wreath that's fine it's like if you buy the sign uh, from the NFL store you cannot go and buy the sign put the sign on the wreath and sell it on Etsy. You can't do that. Just like I can't sell that. And it is what it is. So that's all I'm saying about that. Okay. Clip the rest of the white. 
So I'm just doing the zip tie around the center just like I did the blue. Now, like I said, you could, I purchased this. Now, obviously I purchased it probably illegally. I'm sure the person on Etsy that made this, you know, um, doesn't have a license to sell it, I'm pretty sure. But you can print, like I said, you can print these on cardstock, send it to like FedEx or Staples or, or any office supply, print it on cardstock and Mod Podge it onto the board. So this is the white. 16 blue, 16 white, 16 gray. You got the sign off Etsy? Yeah. I, got, I bought a sign on uh, Amazon, but you know these, these signs that they're selling, they're not... I know they don't have the license. So that's pretty brave of them to sell some licensed stuff on a platform like Etsy because they can get into a lot of trouble. Yep, the Lions. No Lions fans in this house, but my son is going to an engagement party tomorrow. And his friend is a diehard Lions fan. So when Bubba asks for something, Bubba gets. Now, like I said, the, the football ones that I do have on the website, they're actually really cute. They're like, uh, so it won't say the bills, but it has the buffalo with the football guy. Even this, I made some of these. Even this is copyrighted. I couldn't sell these. My lawyer's like, uh-uh. <laughs> because the actual word bills, when it's tied into football, is copyrighted. I know I should have, right? Got them to make their own. They would have been here forever. Steelers, yes. Did you make black, white, and yellow? Oh, got a zip tie there. Okay, we're almost done the white, and then we'll work on to the gray, and then we'll be done. Very simple, easy wreath. But I did wood burn these, so it took me a, a bit to wood burn. No, I do not sell this vinyl. We do have football vinyls, not this one. This one is copyrighted. I cannot sell it. I'm making this for a gift. And I just thought you guys would want to, uh, I don't know, just watch. Okay, last white one. Poly burlap is so soft. I probably do have mesh, but I am not. I was advised to not go and match team colors for the wreaths because if I don't get the colors right, diehard fans. So if I got the wrong color, say if I got the wrong color for Detroit and any diehard Detroit fans would be really angry at me if I quit pick the wrong blue. So I decided to not 
list the football colors and the poly burlap to go with it. These football fans are crazy. Right? Yeah, you could just, any vinyl, you could just use, you don't have to add ribbons and all that. This is going to be, especially football, you don't want it too foo foo -y. All right, now we're doing gray. We're going to do from hole one and a half to hole two and preload just like we were doing. Preload these. Yes. I know we have the hunter green. Um, we, we do, except for the orange, I didn't realize we were out of orange, but we do have pretty much all the colors um, for football. And if you want a cheaper alternative, check out and see if we have the horizontal uh, wide stripe in your colors. The horizontal wide stripe is just as nice as this, and it's like half the price. Right, Lynn? Exactly. That's why I, I made a whole list of all the colors with each team, and I was going to post it, and everybody's like, don't do it. If it's the wrong color, they will message me and make, you know, and want to send it back or something. So I'm doing one and a half row or row one and a half to two. Yes, the brick is a, a like almost like a a burnt orange. I know we have horizontal wide stripe. We have um, the bright orange and we have the dark orange. I noticed that. But you can mix. You don't have to use, if you're doing a, you don't have to use all poly burlap. You could use, uh, you know, one row poly burlap and then use some horizontal white stripe. Why is that dog continuously barking? Dave must be mi mixing her food. How does it tie there? I'm gonna check what's on, what was on the truck that just came in yesterday of poly burlap and stuff. So I'll see if there's any orange on there. And if it is, I'll list it right away. Alrighty, we are already locked and loaded. So just bring these white kind of to the back and we're gonna do gray. Now, the horizontal wide stripe is, is just as nice as poly burlap, like I was saying. It's just got a little bit more of a shine than a poly burlap. Poly burlap really has no shine. It's dull. So, like, I, it is perfect for football wreaths because, it, you know, it's not all um, glittery and just sparkly and stuff, so... Oh, I went to Hobby Lobby today. Did you guys, for those of you that saw, oh, I should have brought them down, that saw my live yesterday of the Christmas tree I made, I was at Hobby Lobby today, and I went to the little, um, the section where they have the small little um, decorations for mini, you know, miniature Christmas trees. Oh my God, they had such cute stuff. I bought a, a bunch of stuff for Christmas, Christmas trees to add. They had little white ornaments that had words on it like believe and peace and everything that looked like like Ray Dunn, you know, the Ray Dunn writing. They had little tiny ornaments that looked like Christmas lights. I bought those in the traditional colors to do the traditional tree.
Anybody have some big plans this weekend? My whole big plan this weekend is taking the dogs to the spa. We need more tree boards. I said at the beginning this is less than half a roll of each of the colors and I did cut them I did um, wood burn these at 10 by 10 I'm wanting to clean my craft room too I really have to do something here it's absolutely insane how messy my craft room is and I don't really have a craft room it's the actual whole <laughs> Pretty much the whole basement I've taken over since the kids moved out. Yeah, that's right, Lynn. It does come in. So it's very basic. It's just showing all your colors and then you can see the, the vinyl in the middle. I hope too, Tina, thinking of you guys. Danielle's doing good. Oh, another one I forgot to cut. Almost done. Tina, how close to you are, are you with uh, uh, with Tanya? Tanya's in Windsor, Nova Scotia. So I know she's pretty much almost in the eye of the whole storm. A little worried, just can't lie. I'm a little bit worried about that. About two hours away. Okay, so you're, are you close to the ocean, Tina? There's ginormous Amazon centers everywhere. They just built a huge one in Hamilton, just outside of Hamilton. Holy man, it's massive. Batten down the hatches, right, Tina? Holy moly. I hope you're all prepared. Ten and a half inches is the vinyl decal size. Ten and a half. Now, you can make them ten. You can see that you really can't see... This part, the actual lion's part, I made it. Hold on, I'll, I'll let you know. I made the actual lion's part seven and a half inches in diameter, but the whole vinyl decal is ten and a half. You're 
welcome. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. All right, we have one more. That's it. And then we'll just fluff her up, pull up our mesh and make it look nice and tidy and put a hanger on it and it's done. It's not too foo-foo-y. There we go. So 16 blue, I use 16 blue, 16 white, 16 gray. And it is 24 inches in diameter. And we used, this is what I have left over. So there is lots of mesh still left over. All right, and then I'm gonna go around and kind of open up some of the ruffles so they're not flat. And you don't want to you don't want to tug on the poly burlap too too much because it's very temperamental. It it, it frays if you sneeze on it. Just open it up once and that should be good. You want to make sure you do open them because you don't want it flat. When you're building your wreath, it's okay to have them flat, but the finished piece, you want to open it up. All right, so there's the blue all done. And then we'll just cut, go around and open up some of these white ones so they're not flat. So I'm just kind of making sure that each, you'll be, you're seeing each ruffle on each side because when I was building it you can see that I you know there's one over top of the other and that's okay when you're building it but when you're primping your wreath pull them so they're not over top of each other separate them and then open up that ruffle And then you got a lot of wreath that looks a lot fuller, right? This is a kerfuffle. So I kind of fold it in half. Like an envelope almost. So the whole wreath was done with kerfuffles. Almost done. There we go. So we got all, you see all the white ruffles, you see all the blue. I might have to go around and separate the blue. All right, and then we'll do the gray. Well, the gray is pretty much done. move them out of the center so you can see the center sign. And there we go. Definitely screams Detroit Lions. So you can do it like a flower if you want, or you can do it just ruffles like I did. Very simple, 
but it's cool. Definitely boyish, mannish. I guess there are men now. I've known Daniel, the guy that I made making this for. Mitchell's been friends with him since like grade nine. And he's now a doctor. Not my son. Daniel is. <laughs> but he wants a Detroit wreath, so. Okay, let's put a hanger on this. It is perfect for a guy, right? He does own his own house. And his fiance, I think, is moving in, but still a perfect wreath for a football fan. And then we're gonna put a zip tie down this hole. And I'm guiding it with my fingers. I can feel it. What the heck? I gotta go. Push the end up. There we go. And hopefully Bubba will write something on the back of the wreath and date it and everything. So Daniel will know where it came from. Well, he'll know who else's mom makes wreaths. <laughs> Just me. And that's it. So thank you guys all for joining me. I'm going to flip it over in one second. There we go. I just want to make sure all my glue is... There we go. Look, Danny. Oops. Do you guys like it? Daniel will love it, I think. Very simple, right? So whenever you guys are ready, you can come pick it up. <laughs> Very cool. Just simple, but cool. All right, that's all I got for you guys. And I really, really, really wish I could sell these, but I'm so sorry, guys. But like I said, there is some really cool football ones that you can tell which team they are. Like there's one, the Lions one that's on there. It's a football player with a lion head. So you do know it's the Lions, right? So, and it's the colors, the same colors as the team. So you can do some that you can sell. All right, that's all I got. Hopefully these have got enough UV light that'll glow later. I'm gonna freak Dave out with my bones. <laughs> You're welcome. Right? This is actually really cool, isn't it? And I have all the holes, another three. Now I said, I, I have to make one more. I have a another Detroit one. Um, Dave's son, uh, who lives in Windsor, is a Detroit fan. I think I might try and do a... Um, Star Trek one. Although this one turned out really nice. It's very simple, right? And not too feminine. So I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, thanks for joining me anyways. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. I'll probably be on sometime this weekend. I can't tell you when, but I have so many kits to make. But for now, that's all I got for you. Have a great day, night, everybody. And we'll, anybody, being affected to the by the storm. Be safe, be smart, and do what the um, do what they're telling you to do. Okay, if they're telling you to evacuate, get the hell out. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, and see you soon.